Hey guys, welcome to my first episode of 4H Garage. The reason it's called 4H Garage is because I've got 4H <laughs> Um Yeah, I've got this A86, which is technically an A85. But, um, got the 4 g running gear in it, all the gearbox and drive shaft and diff, um, rear disc brakes, and pretty much all the hardware's been done. Just call an 86 because everyone just calls it that, it's far easier just to call it that. Um, originally it started off life as a, a Torino, someone in, in the past has changed it to Levin, so um, at some stage I'd like to turn it back to the Torino it once was. Slowly accumulating all the parts just to obviously swap it over. But um, yeah, going to accumulate all the parts and hopefully do panel and paint next year. Get it making, get it, get it making look in mint. Um, so basically, on this first first video, I'm just going to go through a heap of photos from the last year just to catch up on all the stuff I've done since I've owned the vehicle. Um, Basically just replaced everything that's all old and it's deteriorated. It's been sitting in storage for the last sort of eight years or so. And yeah, so the project's all started. And I can't see really an end date, it's gonna be a never ending project really, just to improve it, make it better, and obviously um, drive it. So I've also got a A92 Corolla, big port T in it. Um, I think that's in 2004 too, so um I'll be showing some more videos and pictures of that. So obviously there's a lot to catch up on that too. Then I'll break upgrade and everything like that to it. Sway bars, I've got some adjustable suspension but it's not in at the moment. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of a big end bearing knock at the moment so she's not really been driven. So I've got a small port engine there in the re rebuild sort of process but I'm kind of thinking of Black top 20 valve might be the better option. A little bit more power for the same sort of gains of money, I'm not too sure. But at the moment, yeah, I'm still chucking all the money into this, so it's probably going to come second. So, yeah, I'll we'll carry on with the video and um, happy viewing. Closer in the backseat of your rover That I know you 
disc um, small caliper and there's a spacer on there and these are just case bought weld on sort of coilovers they're not very good eh they went in captive when when I got the car this photo just shows the comparison of the A86 disc and the A85 solid disc just mounted up the A92 Corolla calipers of my red Corolla had them sitting around just chopped the bracket and just modified it to make it fit and um, these are just the brackets that are made blast them all up paint them black nicely make them look kind of factory so I just drilled out the backs of the little um, backing plates there just to add an extra airflow not much but still helps still Put together new bearings in the hub there. 
these are the red coil overs as you, as you can see once been leaking pretty badly and they're pretty crap really they need like 25 mils of travel so I've got these second hand lowering springs and some new ins insulators just to keep it nice and quiet so it's just all putting it in obviously the shocks not all bolted up but it's just a Munro GT gas and so far it's been drying quite nice these are just the part numbers for the insulators and little bushes I got for the rear shocks from Toyota and this is just a brake caliper I'm pretty sure it's from a Celica Supra um, I think the whole rear end's from a Celica Supra So this is my A86 to date It's obviously looking a bit tidier than the first few photos when I got it um, Engine bay's looking a bit more presentable Got an ultra racing strut brace that made a huge difference. Surprisingly, it's got the, it's got the bonnet pins, and they wouldn't even line up once they were bolted in. So I had to readjust them. So it must show you how flimsy the front is. Um, put the A86 washer bottle in, just to replace the A85 tank, which has a um, washer bottle reservoir attached to it. Got the A86. I wanted to go up there but I just didn't put it in because it doesn't really work that well anyway it doesn't really screw in the windows at least my worries so um, yeah everything's going good yeah, the intake manifold came out pretty pretty nice and the suspension I've actually pulled out the coilovers just using the cam plates on the top and I've got a lowering spring and a shortened shock which surprisingly has brought, brought it down a lot lower than what the coilovers were and a far nicer ride, softer but still firm um, obviously the new radiator hoses new alternator some stage it must have had an incident which like I said it used to be a Torino so maybe they couldn't get it to line up or something so that's obviously going to get all fixed up when I do the panel and paint and pull the front end off. It's got a five glass bonnet. It's actually surprisingly light but pretty flimsy too. The front bumper, I've just actually just plasti dipped it because I wasn't really one to spend big money on it. Um, and it's actually come up really well, it's been done for just over a year now so I've plastic dipped it and just painted a white strip across the top with just a white aerosol and it's, yeah, it's holding up really well the original bumper is really really cracked and it's in terrible condition um, and all the plastic dips just hit, all hidden all the cracks and everything I gave it a light sand before I started just to get the main bulk of the horrible muck away Recently, just put this lip on the bottom. She made it look a whole lot better, a bit more depth. Once again, it's off of eBay. <laughs> One of the good old deals on there. Um, these 15 inch wheels, they were just off the red A92 outside. A multi stud, and obviously, it's had spaces when I bought the car, so it's all set up for the front wheel drive, sort of offset wheels. As time gets on, I'm gonna obviously pull those off and go for something a bit more dished. Um, as, you, as you can see, the body works not the flashes when you get up close to these chips and not the nicest spots. But the rest of the body is fairly straight. Odd bits of rust around the place, as you expect from one of these cars, but it's not terrible and such. Roof and obviously a bit of rust coming around the sunroof. Obviously, have to pull that out at some stage, get a new steel. Do it next year when I obviously pull it apart. Some flaky paint on the roof, too. You can barely see it, it's been white, but it's there. <laughs>
Done the same for the rear bumper, just plasti dipped it and put a white strip around it. It's certainly tidy it up. Um, also chopped off the tip of the exhaust pipe. I don't know if you've seen in the lot one of the earlier photos, it had a horrible little like, pea shooter thing sticking right out, ugly. So that piece of pipe, it's just off of my old Evo 5. Chopped it up and welded it on and made it nice and snug up underneath the bumper there. Rear seats, they were mint when I got them in the last year. They just opened up since they've been exposed to the sunlight, which is kind of annoying, but um, not much you can do about it. Um, sides are relatively straight too. I'm quite happy with the body, really. Obviously, once I repay, I'm going to strip all these arches back. Obviously, they are renowned for rusting out. And I do know there is a, it's a patch welded somewhere just around that Levin badge on the side moulding there. So I'll strip it right back in, do a fresh start. So it's all mint and no comebacks, nothing going to pox out in the middle of time. Interior is really tidy. It's only done 192,000 Ks. So I've got these MR2 seats. I just went to local local wreckers and don't believe what you read in the forums. They say you just ultra one bolt hole, just elongate it, but it's not quite that easy. Um, Obviously you've got to like to drill out a weld and sort of yeah, move the bracket over a bit and space out some other brackets but even still when you sort of look at the front seats they sort of look like they're angled inwards um, you don't notice it when you're sitting in it but it just looks a bit funny when you're looking there another sweet ebay job six dollars for the gear knob Good, um, Replacement for what was on there, which kept falling off. But yeah, overall, it's pretty tidy inside, so that's one less thing to worry about. The dash is nice and mint. There's one little split at the top there, but it's nothing too major. So hopefully, the heat doesn't make it crack more. Put these gauges in. It's a nice and snug sort of fit. Because um, obviously being an A85, it doesn't have the oil pressure or anything like that. It's pretty clean, but when you're sitting back here and you're driving, you can still see everything. Um, your knee doesn't even hit it, so it's actually quite a good fit. Nice and discreet. Shows sort of the face of the gauges, which, which is sort of the same, the same area as the, the main gauges. Nothing too modern. Yeah, they work well. So there's a oh, the SW20 MR2 seat. Um, so it's not too bad to fit it up, everything works. And you can use the original seat belt catches. But yeah, this is the bracket that I've had to modify and move around. You can't really tell just looking at it. And then the space up underneath. And then there's another space on the front to try and try and make it look straight, but it still doesn't work. So I still got to work on that or obviously just get some new seats. But these are just cheap. Uh, like 40 bucks with both of them, so you can't complain. That seat's pretty sweet too. And like I said, someone's obviously had a repair job through here, with common areas. And we'll buff through these areas. Yeah, the most common areas, I think, joins here, but nothing can't deal with. It's now beat by trade, so it's 
at my alley, really. It closes nicely. It's also got null same bushes all the way right through the whole car. The previous owner actually changed them for me, so it's a bonus. Some LED bulbs in the in the corner. And some blue bulbs in the headlights. They actually look pretty sweet at night. And even the photos are showing up pretty quite neat. Um looks pretty good, eh? Great driving the car, get so many looks going around and people yelling out and just loving what they see because you don't see these driving around every day. Well, not in New Zealand anyway. <laughs>